Alright, here's another thing I want to show you, and that is basically the new brush here. And that works like in Vox's Sniper pretty much, if you ever use that. And basically, you select some sort of area, let me just uh, grab this one here, and fill it with uh, one. Then copy that, and the brush takes the copied area and uh, places it wherever you point. So let me just right click here, and it generated there, or here, or um, draw a line here. And yeah, that's basically um, pasting the area wherever you point really quickly. And of course you can also undo that, um, every single one. Um, or undo 10 of these to get rid of all of them. So, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the uh, normal generation here. And uh, one other thing you can do is um, use the brush alpha technique. Um, <coughs> and that would be ignoring um, specific blocks that are generated. Let me just show you like this. Slash fill sphere 1. So I have a, a, a... No, actually, let me clear up the area first. Fill 0 and then fill this sphere. Then copy that, and as you can see, I have a, a, a um, uh, well, some sort of uh, um, sphere right here. And if I generate that, you can see that um, it also generates the air with it. So it creates like uh, an air pocket here at the sides, and we don't want that if we want to um, make a big line of well stone. So I set the brush alpha to only ignore zero, that's uh, air of course, and then the air doesn't get generated with it. So let me just show you here, there's no air pockets left. So yeah, that's um, it for that. And uh, one other thing I want to show you is of course um, you can also ignore other block IDs, so let me just um, get some sort of bigger area here, like this slash fill sphere 1 then slash fill uh, no actually let's replace 0 with 5 and then slash replace 1 with 0 slash copy and as you can see I have now copied this area if I um, paste it in of course it will paste the exact same thing uh, and the brush alpha is of course set to 0 so let me just um, no, actually, let me just brush alpha. Yep, no IDs. Um, so as you can see, it generates the whole thing with the air. But what I want is just generating the air pocket here to make some sort of cave system. So I set the brush ignore to five instead. So as you can see, every time I uh, paste this area here, it creates some sort of air pocket, and I can just eradicate the landscape with it, which is pretty useful. So, yeah, that's basically the extent of the brush. Um, if you need to do some sort of uh, high-level terraforming or uh, roughen up maybe a mountain, then you can easily do that with this instead of placing these blocks by hand. So, yeah. Also, if you've got uh, requests for more of these items, then just tell me because I can implement them like in 30 minutes and spare you the 30 minutes of building that every time you need it. So. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty useful. So yeah, I guess uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.